Hi everyone. So I had the idea to do something a little bit different and uh, instead of creating a new project, show you some of my older ones. All these which you can see were made uh, uh, last year or even the year before. But anyway, let me show you. First of all, I would like to show you this one. This is in a journal that uh, I made. And uh, here are some older projects, all of them actually. So first one is uh, art by Marlene uh, paper pad. The, for the background, I cut out this big circle and then put these little planets, which would be like these movable elements. The next one is this one with the background made with uh, distress oxides. This text comes from art by Marlene Advent Calendar from two years ago, I believe. Uh, these flowers were all made uh, by hand, cutting out from art by Marlene Advent Calendar mini mini paper pads, if some of you remember. Then I have uh, this one, which I really actually very much love. The hat was uh, cut out of um, with, a, with, a, with an owl from one of uh, Art by Marlene paper pads. Here I used some die cuts. The stress oxide sprays for the background. Here the background was made with acrylics, I believe. And this is from Art by Marlene paper pad. This was uh, uh, made for one of Art by Marlene uh, challenges. I think it was uh, monochrome. So I uh, tried to make uh, everything in uh, blue color, as you can see, except, uh, of course, white, black, uh, silver or gold effects. This uh, moon is uh, one of the die cuts together with these uh, little stars. Background was made with Art by Marlene acrylic paints. Then I think we all remember Art by Marlene Out of This World collection. One of the die cut sets was for making these uh, cute customizable aliens or robots, as, as you can imagine. This uh, background is uh, actually made by Art by Marlene, one of her collage papers. And uh, this one, it has a really beautiful uh, shimmer effect. This is actually art by Marlene uh, Stencil and through it I sprayed... Oh, honestly, I don't know one of the shimmer sprays. I'm really not sure. A very similar method for uh, this page. As you can see, same stencil and same shimmer effect. The Mermaid is from Out, out of This World uh, collection papers. Then this page was made for uh, Halloween. I put a little bit shimmer effect on the moon. <laughs> this witch is really, really cute. Oh, oh this is one. Then, uh, one of the uh, pages which I really like. This uh, background was actually uh, made almost accidentally. Then I framed it uh, by drawing this frame with acrylic paints, connected with these branches that I drew, and of course the owls are art by Marlene Designs. Now came the Christmas season, as you will see in a couple of next uh, pages. This background is Art by Marlene paper pad. Mm, snow was made by just steering uh, white paper. And of course Art by Marlene uh, Christmas stamps. Same uh, technique for snow in this. And um, sprays for the background. The snowflakes are uh, from uh, Art by Marlene stamps. They were heat embossed. 
and uh, one more one of art by Marlene uh, stencils for the background sprays and of course the, her die cut and stamps and this was the uh, last one for that year as I remember the snowflakes and this text come from art by Marlene advent calendar the background was made with acrylics okay so now next to off to the next uh, journal this is the handy size journal this was a uh, last page uh, that I did before I actually joined art by Marlene uh, dream team so it's a uh, kind of a memory for me it was made with watercolors This one with a really subtle background, but really fun effect with this shark swimming here and this cute little mouse, I hope you can see him. This one with some very slight stencil work and uh, sprays. This was all made with art by Marlene's sophisticated release. This one as well. These uh, underwater grasses were actually drawn with art by Marlene stencils and then I just cut them out separately for more texture. Another watercolor background. I know my backsides look uh, pretty much messy and I always have plans to cover them up, make them all nice and neat, but somehow never came up to it. For most of them I have uh, videos available, but as far as I remember here not, because I was just kind of playing with some collage layouts, not really 100% satisfied with how it turned out. Now, here are two pages that I did together. What's uh, special about it? I made this page first, that way that I sprayed the uh, Distress Oxide sprays through the stencil. And then, since the paint stayed on the stencil, I used the stencil as a stamp, stamped it here, and then filled out the empty areas with the Distress Oxides. So I think really, really like how this uh, turned out. Here were used art by Marlene watercolors and I don't know if you can notice this texture is from one art by Marlene uh, die cuts. I have a video on this one if I remember correctly. Actually for most of them if you look at my channel I have the videos for most of this, not all but most of these uh, projects. I really like this one in a little bit vintage style. I used old book paper as a background some stenciling work, dripping, paint. I drew these branches and adhered art by Marlene Birds. The text is uh, art by Marlene Robbins. Another one from the sophisticated release. This one was really fun tech, uh, technique that I made for background creating. I used little paper scraps, adhered them. So there is really a lot of natural texture. And here I was uh, practicing uh, creating pages on uh, um, dark black uh, refill pages of the journals. Here I used the same die cut that I used for 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 this one. Just a second. So it's the same die cut, just I used it in a different way. Here I just adhered the die cut to give the texture to my background. Here I lifted it out so when I adhered Art by Marlene uh, paper pad, it would have these beautiful windows, or how it's called. This design, like also the next one that you will see, I think it's also beautiful for cards. Very simple, clean design, easy to replicate. These were just cut out elements from Art by Marlene paper pads on a black background. Again, very similar, just here, between uh, there is a, actually a whole sandwich there is a white paper then we have art by Marlene vellum papers and then the black paper adhered 
I use the white paper so it would uh, the vellum paper would be more vibrant and not so transparent. Here I just um, cut out uh, this frame out of the black page and used actually the edges as a frame for this page. The page can work uh, alone or you can just give it this kind of a little door. This was unintentional at start, but I liked how it looks. Then we have these, uh, this uh, ballerina. Uh, Mar Art by Marlene stamp is something like this, still here. And then I drew the skirt and the legs. This is uh, from a paper pad. And then I just added some background elements following the same color scheme that was already on these flowers. Here was just something experimenting with uh, white space. Here I masked out these two lines using a simple thinner masking tape and applied color on the sides. When I removed the masking tape, I used one of uh, Art by Merlin's stamps to do this line. So from far, it almost looked as if I used some kind of washi tape. Not long ago I posted the video for this project as well. It has a lot of beautiful textures where I use some old uh, dyes that uh, I have, some scrap of papers. Here I just masked out this line where I planned my sentiment and then I sprayed distress oxides. I think this is a really nice technique when you make uh, cards. Here it's getting full, my journal. This is really, really an old page made in uh, support for Ukraine. Then once again, I use this die, which I mentioned I really, really love for this page. And for this, again, I just cut out the paper and used it to create some texture. And that's it from the handy size journal. The next one is the perfect size. I will have to now remove my little flower so you can see better. Here is a page on uh, craft uh, refill pages with the Frida's stamp set. Really simple design. Again, I think it can work for cards. Here on the craft paper, I was applying some acrylics using uh, Marlene's stencils. I really actually like how this turned out, though this is not us my usual style. Then again, playing with acrylics, uh, Marlene's Rabons here. I really love this page and how colorful it is. Usually these many colors is not my usual style, but I really like how it turned out. Another design that can be really good for cards. Here I started with darker blues and then going with brighter shades as I was going down. Using a, a stencil, here I made cluster of flowers and uh, rabbon. Again, playing with acrylics. I really like here, for example, if you look at my frame for the page, here I drew it by hand and added some little uh, Art by Marine sentiment stamps as a part of the frame. Oh, I really like this one. Here I applied the paint and sprayed a lot of water and let the paint drip. And then I used these uh, pathways of the water drops to create like some kind of magical forest. I drew these little leaves and stuff, so it looks like a trees or something. And then a lot of these uh, houses from Art by Marlene paper pads. Again, experimenting with acrylics and a lot of, lot of colors and some stencil work. And this little bird, we just chirped a little heart. <laughs> Uh, for this page, I primed the page with uh, gesso and uh, used Neo Color 2 
for some watercolor effect. These black flowers are actually Merlin's die cuts. I really like this page and I should try something like this again really soon. Well, this page has a lot of textures. The textures were made just by applying a thicker layer of gesso and then I pressed the, the cups of my bottles here for these circles. And I applied the gesso anyway with a palette knife really roughly so there is a lot of beautiful textures and it can be seen when the paint was applied. The paint was the watercolors. And then I adhered the page to a black refill page. Here was I again going towards the vintage style with the book paper in the background. These are from the frames of the cutting dies. Oh, I really like this one. Here I went more 3D with this jar. Here is a lot of background interest. I adhere this lace just to the edge, so it gives a really cute little effect. And the corrugated cardstock. I really like this one. Now, as the summer was coming, I, if I remember correctly, I made this one. A little bit shimmer to the scales of the mermaid. Here I made the cluster and the paint. I tried to let myself go and not control the paint uh, as much. Applied, I think, uh, with a palette knife, if I remember correctly. Acrylic paint. Uh, for this one, I used Art by Marlene paper frame. Actually, to this time, I, uh, it wasn't that frame which you push out. This was together with the background, so I just colored the, the white part of the paper, the frame, and then I adhered these birds and embossed here the sentiment. Here, this is a, an incomplete page. I so much liked how this background looked this way. And I think it's really nice here. If this was made in a card, it could just fit a nice sentiment here or something like that. Or even like this, I don't know. Anyway, I left it this way. Here I was practicing a little bit drawing. Uh, the face itself is from Art by Merlin, the lower part of the body and the hair I draw. Here you can see little snowflakes. It's a very subtle effect that can be only seen under certain light. I hope you see it. I imagine this as uh, Elsa from the Frozen cartoon. The snow is actually from Art by Marilyn special effect glitter in um, diamond color, I think. Here I tried to make a, a page in a colors that I don't uh, usually reach for, a red, orange and yellow. And I felt the color so strong that I felt like I have to settle it down a bit, push the colors back, so I just use these black and white elements and at the end I really like how this turns out. I drew this thicker black frame and I think this way, that is just these strong colors with black and white, it really balanced it out. These are some ribbons, stamps. Oh, this is one of my favorite. He, this uh, is Art by Marlene frame. The cloud, this cloud, the moon and the girl are paper elements. Uh, this word magic is from uh, Marlene's alphabet stamp set. And it has really nice subtle effect. I like how the moon shines. Hope you can see it. And it has some really nice uh, uh, subtle shimmer effect on the moon, stars and the wings of the girl. I really, really like this one, maybe in my top 10 favorite. Some of you know that I'm a fan of cats. I have two cats, so I had to dedicate one page to them. This is again Art by Marilyn paper frames, including this cat. But these other four cats are from the paper pads. For the background there was some acrylics and stamping really discreetly because I really wanted cats to stand out. Uh, this is one for which, uh, which was made for Halloween and I did a bit more drawing here. Here the pumpkins and the sign are my drawing but the mushroom is from Art by Marlene. 
I uh, stamped it on one paper, as you can see here, and then I took a black refill page and made this uh, edge using our, one of Marlene's uh, stencils. I have a video on this one for sure. Again, using uh, Art by Marlene paper frames, these, some of these flowers are from paper frames, these uh, insects and these flowers are actually from the stamps. If I remember the correctly, the background was made with uh, distress oxidings. Here a little bit chicken wire die cut for some extra interest. A really nice uh, spring page. Oh, and that's it from this one. And the last journal from this collection is the artist size. Here, sadly, I don't have much uh, pages, or I don't usually work in this format, but I have three which are, which I like, and I thought it's worth uh, to show you. There is this one here. I was really experimenting with uh, layering acrylics, making it colorful. This was one of first uh, very colorful pages. And that is very unusual for me, so I had to push it back with all this uh, heat embossing in black color. Here, you can see it's heat embossed. Another one that, that I like, I really like uh, Marlene's moon designs. I, I tend to use them a lot. And these little houses. It's a night scene, but still somehow really very cheerful. And then again, this girl, which is in one of uh, Art by Marlene scrap paper pads. I just did some uh, background work here. Some, this was with a stencil, these uh, cubes and heat embossing with gold. And that's about it. Again, sorry for looking at these messy sides. This is uh, still something I plan to do. Soon I will show you uh, some, uh, flip uh, through some journal that I did this year. Uh, I hope you managed to find some pages that inspire. And again, of course, uh, take a look at my channel. I have the tutorials for most of these journals. Back then I used to make uh, them really fast paced and short tutorials. Nowadays I try to include more explaining. But, uh, of course, if you have any question regarding any of these pages, please uh, be sure to ask me in the comment section down below. And thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye!